What's shaking everybody? It's your boy King of the Gold State coming at you with another haul video. Uh, didn't go too many places. Most of the stuff I order online and through eBay and Instagram and Facebook and and it happened to be a, a shop that happened to be opened actually. Um, who was able to let me in. Um, I'm not going to mention the name of the shop because I don't want to get them in trouble but they were able to uh, be kind enough to let me in and go through the long boxes with them in the distance. So kept my social distance everything is fine so uh before i start just wanted to let you guys know i still have a contest going on i got um my 800 subscriber contest going on till the 15th which is this week so if you've seen this video on a, on a wednesday you probably have like two days so if you see this video as soon as it comes out you probably have a lot more a lot much longer than that so um sub contest for 800 uh, subscribers is going to end on june 15th so the rules as it bees is um, be a subscriber, um, comment down below. All the, all the, all the, all the uh, information will be down there. I'll leave a link in the description for that video, but I'll say it real quick. Be a subscriber, like the video. Also comment as far as your dream uh, writer artist duo for, for uh, Deadpool, you know, for the Deadpool character and any kind of, like any kind of Deadpool series. But, more information is going to be on that video. I'll leave it in the description below. But right now, we're going to do a haul video. You know, I don't want to keep you guys hanging. But uh, also, yeah, um, share, uh, you know, share this video or or share this video to people and let people know that King of the Golden State has a, a, uh, a subscriber contest going on until Friday. Or, or just share this video and let people know who I am. Be nice. Um, let me see. Where do I start? Where do I start? Uh, Let's start with an auction. I, I was doing, I was doing a couple auctions with um, Rag Seven Seven One Eight. Uh, he was selling some stuff on his auction along with Keep Thorough, and this was like about a week ago. Um, this one for me, I thought was a damn steal. I couldn't believe I got these for about fifty bucks plus shipping. Uh, very, uh, very fine to uh, near mint copies of century one through five it's the entire full run right there the, of the first of the first run of that character so it's pretty cool um yeah definitely worth sending in to get probably uh pressed and slabbed i mean it's a real black cover so i was really enjoying that for 50 bucks 50 bucks that's crazy so i'll really get that snagged off the auction for that price also uh keep it thorough had, was running the auction so he had some pretty cool stuff that I was digging like uh like um bounty hunters it's a blank cover something like that I don't know what Marvel's doing with their blank covers it's kind of weird but he had a he had a bounty hunters bundle which I thought was pretty dope so that one this issue here of number one got this variant cover here by Kira DeAndrews or Kira I think it's Kira Andrews but the one I really wanted was this one I really thought it was super dope was this you know this photo variant which i thought man you just love that because you feel like the cool thing about this photo this photo cover is you feel like that ig88 is just staring at um uh bubba fett and bubba fett's like yeah try me mother you know just try me you know and i was like this is awesome it's such a cool cover and uh yeah really dug that so i got that one off of uh keep it thorough he even threw in this really dope ass mouse pad which i'm using now i haven't used a mouse pad in years but Look at that. Look at that. That thing's crazy dope. Yeah. Haven't used a mouse pad in years. And, and Thoreau sent me that along with that. And, I, and I'm very grateful. I couldn't believe he sent me that. Also, uh, another auction he did another auction he did weeks prior. Um, God, this one's a really good one. Um, bought this one in, in, in Thoreau's auction, which was pretty cool. I think it's a Perillo or a Lucia Perillo variant Wonder Woman 750. Really, really dope. I really like that. This was the one I was really after, really. It came with the girth of the books, but Zatanna number 15. I think it's my third copy. I think I gave this away in a contest before. I think it has one tick. One or maybe two minor little ticks. Thorough, if you're watching this video, I think you sold it short. Sold short. This, this might be a 9.6 at best. Um, this also came with it as a Vampirella Second Coming to a 4. Eh, Arthur Sudan cover. I'm not a big Arthur Sudan guy. 
This one I saw in there as well. Pretty cool Avengers Grand Umbrella. I think second print was, you know, pretty dope. I like this. But also the crown jewel of this I really dug was this one right here. It was this uh, Hack and Slash Suicide Girls Annual. Um, not a fan of Hack and Slash. I did like the cover though. I mean, I don't know if anybody would say no to that cover. I mean, sure, some people would, but I didn't. So I had to pick all this stuff up and throw. Extremely grateful. Thank you, sir. I'll take good care of that. Also, I won a little small contest on uh, one of the auctions from uh, Chad RCG. It's a nice Ryan Brown cover of Silver Surfer Black, number one. Um, yeah, dope. That's very, I really like that. So, got that as well. Also, uh, there was an auction on... Actually, no, Thoreau had another thing on his auction. He also had a... Uh, sold me this Amazing Heroes Slim Sea Special, signed by Adam Hughes, who's one of my favorite artists. Um, I already have a copy of this, but I don't have one signed. And as soon as I saw all this stuff for sale, I had to grab it. So most likely, this will be going to CBCS to get verified and slabbed, you know, just for the hell of it. So, there was that. Also, uh... You see, Roman Curtis sold me a pretty decent copy of Adam Legend of Blue Marvel. I'm only going to say a pretty, a pretty decent copy, but, you know, I, haven't, I don't have any copies of uh, Adam the Blue Marvel anymore. I used to have one I found in the dollar bin about several months ago, but I sold it. Slab was 9.6. I was hoping to find a 9.8 copy, but I don't know. I might just accumulate Adam Legend of Blue Marvel copies as much as I can find them, starting with this one. Um... This one feels like it could be a 9.0 copy, maybe a 9.2 at best, but yeah, uh, I was grateful to see that come in. Also, um, let's see, I got this one from Mr. Unknown Comics Guy. Uh, well, actually, his uh, LCS was selling it. He was hosting a uh, live auction for his shop. Um, uh, NYX number four, it's the second appearance of uh, X23. People don't really factor much into the second appearances and I actually thought this is a really cool cover this is as good as the first appearance so I got this one for about like less than 50 bucks pretty cool so I'll go pick that up for a decent price um also uh, as far as eBay purchases go this one's an interesting list this was advertised as an Adam Hughes uh productive uh book it wasn't um the guy was selling me this uh, Deathhawk number two as an Adam Hughes, like, uh, not cover, but interiors. So I, I bought it. I like the cover, don't get me wrong. Dave Dorman did a pretty cool, uh, you know, like bondage cover like deal here. And, uh, you know, I thought, why not buy it? So bought it, opened it. Adam Hughes had nothing to do with it as far as the interiors go or the exteriors go. But they say in the, like, say, you know, previously on kind of thing, that Adam Hughes was drawing issue number one. So I told the guy and the guy refunded me my money and told me to keep the book. So I was like, all right, that's cool. Because that was one of those things that really annoyed me. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, yeah, so I got a pretty cool little bondage cover of uh, Death Hawk number two, which I don't know nothing about. So I might pick up the rest. Also, there was talk about some heat with this. X-Men 14, that's the um, Captain America 70th anniversary cover. This had small heat. I was able to find it on eBay for a pretty decent price. Um, pretty, yeah, like I said, a really cool gray corn cover of Captain America on a cover of X-Men, which is just bonkers in my opinion. So, as far as eBay purchases, eBay purchases for me got sick, like really hot, man. Like, uh, one of the things I was glad to pick up on eBay, Vampirella number 19. That is the... Uh, Lucio Perillo uh, variant cover. I understand this one's a fairly difficult book to find in a high, maybe in a high grade or at all. So I was able to find one. Like I put myself on a watch list basically for eBay and the guy sent me an offer saying, here, buy it for this price. And I was like, well, what the hell not, you know? So I decided to uh, go ahead and agree with the price and now I have myself a 9.8 Vampirella 19 Perillo cover. I honestly don't know how, how hard it is for that book to find, but I didn't really care to look for also uh yeah i went a little shopping so i also bought uh bubble gun number one this is a uh, aspen store customer appreciation uh variant uh signed by uh j scott campbell um 
I've seen this on a couple other channels before. I think uh, uh, David Seekinierman's comics was on, had something like this, and I think I think Triple I think Triple C has one, but uh, I didn't have one, so I figured why not? You know, just you know for the prices that are going on eBay, I had to go for it. So, and plus the sign, I don't see this getting out of the slab anytime soon. So, so I pick that up. Also decided to knock another book off my list. It's a uh, Red She-Hulk, number 58. That's the uh, Greg Horn variant. I don't know. Maybe I was on a Greg Horn kick or something. I don't even know. So, uh, yeah, I decided to pick that up. Um, had to go back and forth with this guy as far as negotiating on a fair price. And it took me about a week. But he finally agreed. He finally, finally agreed. And, uh, yeah, it's got a little... I mean, it's a 9.4... It's got a, like a little, I think a crease on the corner here, and that's okay. I don't think, I honestly don't think it'd be pressed out, so I might actually just leave it in the slab the way it is and just be fine with it. Maybe one day if I change my mind, but I just, I was actually pretty happy to have it. Also, uh, what else I got? I think that's it for the eBay stuff. As far as um, other auction wins. Biggie from uh, Home and NY Warriors was selling this, and I thought, you know, I gotta pick this up because I don't think I have any. I think I had a Bill Sinkovitz uh, signed comic book, but I don't until now. And it's uh, Moon Knight 25. This is just a regular cover. Like, there's like a little variant where there's like a little dot in the middle, but uh, I didn't care. I mean, you know, Biggs was selling this, and I was like, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy this. Why the hell not? You know, it's signed by uh, Bill Sinkovitz and slabbed in a yellow label uh 9.0 white pages so yeah i didn't have any more uh any more uh bill sink of his uh signed stuff but now i do again so i'm actually pretty stuck about that oh, oh and the comics fell how the hell did that happen oh let's hope that nothing broke okay we are still disco all right we are still good Things fell flat. <laughs> Things fell flat. That's what I love about comic books. They either fell in a corner or they can fall flat. So, to my haters who were hoping it fell in a corner, you lose. <laughs> anyway, that was pretty much the biggie slab. As far as comic shops I went to, I went to uh, my LCS and they had uh, this Venom uh, issue 25, that's a variant edition. And it's, uh, I believe it's, it's a Spino variant, so I thought it was pretty cool. And uh, got it for a pretty good price, along with this one here. It's Marvel Action Avengers, number 10. And that is, I think, the first Yellow Hulk, or as some people call it, Jaundice Hulk. But, uh, yeah, got that one. I think I both for less than 50 bucks. It was a pretty decent price. Went to a shop down the, down the way, not down the street, but down the way. You know, I was able to pick up a couple things here, like uh, Avengers number 33. That's the uh, Age of Country Part 1. I was able to pick up a... In their variant bin, they had a Extraordinary X-Men. That's the J. Scott Campbell uh, variant. Such a very thin-waisted uh, magic. It's so, so weird. So, I was happy to pick that up. Believe it or not, this one is pretty much my, my, my uh, stealth bot found that ultimatum number one uh one in a hundred variant david finch um i believe it's a hard to find variant and it's just sitting in there for fifty dollars and i was like you've got to be kidding me so i had to pick it up you know that's it was one of those books you see on, on a list like one of those like top 10 lists and you're like yeah i don't think i'll ever be able to pick that up not at all i don't think there's a chance boom it's in a long box <laughs> just sitting there i'm like it's sitting there like like uh, magneto sitting there and this is definitely in my uh, Keeper collection, my PC here, because this, this is one I'm definitely going to have to... I mean, I got this book... I mean, I've been in their long boxes, like the shop's long boxes, a million times, and I never came across this, and I thought I would. And here it is, sitting in their, in their long box. And you think it would have been, like, bent to hell, but the spine's good, everything's good. It just needs to get pressed, and... Good chance it'll come back in 9.6, 9.8. Um, stay tuned on that one, guys. But, that was one of those things I couldn't believe was still sitting there. Also, uh, went through Instagram. 
won it, had a uh, had a uh, raffle win. Amazing Spider-Man 252. Didn't expect to uh, win that. That's like my second, no, third copy of uh, issue 252. This is kind of a reader's copy, which is fine. I, I'm gonna just keep this in a reader's copy in my reader's pile and just, just um, you know, I think I have a nicer copy than, well, I'm sure I do, of this. And I'll probably just sell it and just keep this in my reader's collection. But that was pretty cool to see. And win, of course, too, from uh, Comic Books 22. Check out his raffles on IG if you can. Uh, it's funny how things work. Um, I lost at a... I was, I was going back and forth on IG with a couple other guys trying to win it. Ultimate Fallout number four. Um, thinking I didn't have one. And... I thought in my head I didn't have one, and I was going back and forth on some sort of like, like auction thing that uh, Silverine does on IG for uh, Ultimate Fallout Number Four. I lost. So later on, I got a message from uh, Chloe's Comic Swag on IG about, "Hey, do you want one? I'll sell you one if you want." And it's in really good shape. Now, if you guys don't know, Chloe's Comic Swag does have a really good track record for books that are like nine eight. So. This book looks like a 9.8 to me, and I thought, damn, this is sweet. So he sold it to me for a pretty good price. Uh, Ultimate Fallout number four. I thought I didn't have um, other copies of Ultimate Fallout. Turns out I had two other copies in my storage, which is crazy. So now I have three copies of Ultimate Fallout number four. Will I sell one? <sighs> Who knows? I don't know. Um, but yeah, most likely I have to get press and since the CGC to get slabbed. Uh, nowadays, I hear these things are going for like 750 in the 9.8. It's insane. It is just ins outright insane. So, um, yeah, and it's also crazy that I have three copies now. So, will I get another copy? Who knows? Um, what else? I stopped by, um, stopped by my friend's place to uh, go through his uh, long boxes and uh, decided to pick some stuff out just to kill, just kill the rest of the week. That's kind of like whatever. Um, just, you know, I didn't pick, pick up too many crazy things, but I was able to pick up some books. Nothing, too, like I said, nothing too wild. Uh, we're waiting on some other stuff here. Uh, Captain America 193, that's where Kirby's back at Marvel, the Mad Bomb issue. So that was a pretty decent VF copy, probably like 8, 8 5 or, or 8 0. Found that in one of his bins. It was a uh, Star Wars Boba Fett number ha uh, half. Uh, really cool Tim Bradstreet cover. Uh, also found this one, which is a high grade copy of uh, Amazing Spider-Man 210. Uh, first Madam Web. Um, I might I might be looking into slabbing some early Spider-Mans, like mid like the mid numbers ones, like say in the 200s and 100 and what have you, of first parent characters. So uh, first Madam Web, pretty high grade. I pretty, was pretty much dug that one. Also, uh, Strange Tales, featuring Warlock, I believe is the first appearance of Magus. And uh, I don't think I have this one. I just bought it out of, in, out of Impulse. And uh, I figured, what the hell, you know? So I picked that up. Um, yeah. And uh, also, got a couple other things he had hanging in there, too. I just feel like pulling away from him. Try to try, empty his, uh, his space and... I have to take up mine basically. It was uh, picked up uh, one, two copies of uh, Mega Man number three, uh, just for the hell of it. You know, it was like nine, two white pages. So, um, yeah, he had that there sitting there for a pretty decent price. So I just said, yes, why not? Um, you see, also, uh, just so you guys know, there, if you guys are watching this either tonight or tomorrow, on Monday. Oh, one other thing, hang on. <laughs> also picked that up too. Uh, Captain Britain number one. That's, you know, just a regular issue of Captain Britain. But the only problem is it doesn't have the uh, Captain Britain mask. Uh, I, you know, so he, he gave me a really good price on this one. Uh, nice Larry Lee recover. Yeah, I mean, the book's nice. The only problem is it's missing the mask, which kind of, I think, affects this book if you wanted to slab it or grade it. So there was that. So anyway, going back to what I was saying, if you guys are watching this video either tonight or you're watching it 
uh, Monday night. So you know there is a claim sale going on for uh, comics, tunes, and toys. And they'll be doing uh, just pretty much claim sales and even an auction at the end, small little auction. So um, I usually help out with that. Um, yeah, uh, Mike from uh, The Big To Do, he uh, uh, sometimes, you know, pays me on comic books or slabs, or not slabs, I'm saying, or comic books or, uh, yeah, slabs, or graphic novels. So one of them he sent, sent me was uh, this Deadly Class number one. Really, really cool. I, I haven't got around to reading this, nor I haven't seen the first season of the show that got canceled. So I'm going to have to sit back and read it now. You know, I mean, you know, I mean Mike, if you're watching this, I could use book two. <laughs> you know, this is awesome. This is pretty cool. So I got that in the mail, along with the uh, four number one. It's a premiere variant, where it's like half color and half black and white. So really grateful to uh, get all that. So that was pretty cool. Um, we're almost done, guys. Got a few, uh, one more. Actually, I have one more thing. Yeah, uh, on the way home, got a message from my phone regarding, um, you know, someone was selling something, and I was kind of like, oh, I wonder what it is. And it turns out, oh shit, I need that book. And you know, his instructions. Apparently, nobody really followed his instructions, but I did. His instructions were, this book is for sale at this price. Please claim in the comments. Of course, some of the comments says PM. And I'm thinking, oh, God, somebody's trying to sneak up on him. Uh, shout out to Otto, because I actually claimed in the comments. And this is a book I've been looking for for like the longest time. But every time I don't look for it, the price even goes up. So I finally found one at a decent price. And here it is. Ultimate Fallout number four. It has the Miles Morales uh, cover. First Prince Miles Morales, also done by uh, Marco Djurvic, and also Otto and Justin, Roger, Dave. They were nice enough to throw in some really cool uh, coasters, three men in the basement coasters, uh, live from the grotto. Um, yeah, guys, uh, sub up their channel when you get a chance. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, really cool guys, man. I was really excited to see that, um, especially for that price. Uh, yeah, like I said, some people just weren't. Uh, pay attention, paying attention to the instructions on how to obtain such a book. You know, if they say claim in the comments, claim in the comments, but don't try to do a PM or whatever. It's like, oh yeah, I said your PM. No, just claim in the comments. I did that, and lo and behold, this is my book. This little book I've been looking for for a long time. There's some, I mean, there are some prices I said no to. Problem was, the price on this book kept going up and up and up. It's insane, but. That's it, guys. Um, I got nothing else. Uh, like I said earlier in the video, there is a uh, there's a contest out in on Friday of this of this week, Friday the fifteenth. So you got till then. Um, but as far as this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Go ahead and comment down below what you think. Also uh, subscribe as well. And uh, if you already subscribed, share this video to other people who haven't because I'm sure they would love to know. That's it, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.